Do you think that um, in America, young men today are increasingly embracing a more violent form of nationalism? Um, what I do think is, take violence out of it, that there are a lot of people on the right who are embracing essentially a right-wing version of identity politics for white people, which I think is a really dangerous and bad thing. Um, and I think it's in response to the rise of identity politics in general in college campuses, which comes from the left. That doesn't excuse it, but it helps you understand where it comes from. And that they want to create and cultivate this not ethnic, right? It's not Irish pride or Italian pride, but based around this abstract category of whiteness, this white cultural affinity that um, you know creeps into some weird Aryan stuff. And I think it is a product of these guys who are deracinated, who are looking for meaning in their lives, and they can't find it from the traditional outlets of civil society. They can't find it in the economy. It's not working for religion very well. And, and religion is sort of uh, receding from a lot of these people's lives. So it's, what do they hold on to? Identity politics. Right. This is, this, this, so if you want to take that away from them, what should they grab on to instead? So part of me being a conservative, particularly a small c conservative, is that I don't want to nationalize politics at all except for the truly essential things. Um, you know. There's a reason why during a war, everyone drops what they're doing and rally around the cause. Um, the government can't love you. It can only do a few things remotely well, and it should stick to those things. And we should push as much power to the most local level possible to give, a peop give people a sense that they have more control over their lives. Mm -hmm.